And if you're thinking of camping, uh, camping or picnicking lakeside through the Memorial Day weekend, may want to double check your plans as far as location. Lakes across North Texas are feeling the impact of all the recent rainfall we've had, rising levels on Louisville Lake, for instance, now forcing the temporary closure of Lake Park to vehicle traffic and public boat ramps as well. The campgrounds, golf course, both still open, but people should be aware water is covering some of the roads and some of the trails as well. But that's not the only lake dealing with the closures. Our Caroline Vandergriff now live at Benbrook Lake where the water, I understand, is almost 15 feet above what they consider normal. That's right, Doug, and it's actually been rising a little bit today. You can see how much the water here covers what should be a boat ramp and also how high it gets on that picnic table pavilion and those surrounding trees. That's why all the parks and campgrounds on the lake are essentially closed to the public through the weekend and well into the summer. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been crazy. Mike DeLuca and his family picked an unusual week to go camping on Benbrook Lake. The waterfront site they started at is now underwater. And you can't even get near it now. And what used to be a road with a bunch of campsites and picnic areas is now a great spot to throw in a line. Yeah, we're fishing right on the road now. He's caught a couple of catfish over here <laughs> already. This is one of several lakes in the area run by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and its main purpose is flood control. When we have a rain event, we hold water behind our dams and we flood out our own park facilities and recreational facilities above the dam as a trade-off for reducing flood damages downstream. Houses and businesses near Trinity Park or in the 7th Street Corridor in downtown Fort Worth benefit from the deal. People with Memorial Day weekend plans at Benbrook Lake not so much. It's really high. So it's kind of treacherous. You've got to know where you're going or you'll have to run over a picnic table if you get in too shallow. Experienced boaters say the high water makes for dangerous conditions out on the lake, and it's not going down anytime soon. If we have more rain this weekend or, or going into June, uh, there's, there's really no telling. They can only drop the water in the lake by about a foot a week, so it's a slow process to get the level back down to normal. The goal right now is to have the campgrounds and parks open by July 4th, but of course it all depends on the forecast. Live at Benbrook Lake, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. And we see a fair amount of rain in it, sadly. Caroline, thank you.